If you are an avid outdoor enthusiast who doesn't mind the cold temperatures, you might find yourself visiting one of the many national parks this winter. However, before you do, you might want to check online first. I am Bunny, and this is Nomad News Now, and today we are going to be talking about a recent report from the Grand Canyon. This week, the Grand Canyon and several other parks posted that those visiting the popular parks should prepare for icy conditions this winter. Icy conditions do not, however, just affect roadways. Instead, these become problematic for trails. On Monday, December 26, the Grand Canyon National Park announced that the park rim roads were mostly cleared. However, popular trails such as Bright Angel were still covered in ice during the first mile of the trail front. Park rangers urged those visiting and wanting to participate in outdoor recreation to bring traction devices for their shoes and to use trekking poles to help maintain balance. While this might be one of the first announcements of the winter season, it will likely not be the last as the park is expecting more icy conditions throughout the next couple of months. Rangers are urging visitors to not walk on icy trails without assessing conditions first. When using trekking poles, you are asked to make sure you have removed the rubber stoppers and instead are using the tips for additional grip. Give others plenty of room on the trails. This will prevent crowding and also slipping, which could cause danger near the ledges. If you do happen to come to the Grand Canyon or other popular parks, some do have equipment available. However, try to be prepared in advance because supplies at these parks are limited. We here at Nomad News encourage you to also check out the channel Justin Outdoors here on YouTube. He reviews a series of different slip-on traction devices for your hiking boots and also compares them in detail to help you make more educated decisions when you are making your plans. As always, we encourage you to recreate safely. This has been Nomad News Now, and we'll see you next time.